24 minutes after the hour, students from a Catholic high school were in Washington, D.C. for a March for Life. Over the weekend, it happened to be during the same day as Indigenous Peoples March. This footage of a confrontation went viral over the weekend. Immediately, the media rushed to judgment with this story, and then videos started emerging to show more of what really happened. That's right. Here come Gad. Here come Gad. Here come Gad. Look, look at our Make America Great Again hats. Look at the hats. Look at the hats. We ain't taking. Look, we not taking. Look at Gad. This new video shows the man with the drums going up to the boy and getting in his face. And the boy stood there and, and stood his ground. Yep. Joe Concha is a columnist uh, at the Hill, and he joins us right now. Well, let me see, get this straight, Joe. 24 hours after we jumped to conclusions about the BuzzFeed story, we jumped to, not we, but many jumped to conclusions about that story, right? It's like, Brian, you could create a, a board game that says jumping to conclusions, kind of like the old Twister, right? right. I mean, Reagan used to say, uh, trust but verify. And now it seems like the media seems to have a slogan that says, uh, let's be first instead of accurate, which is supposed to be the other way around, right? And, and this is a classic case, as you said, rushing the judgment by the media. And it always seems to happen one way, doesn't it, guys? Uh, against groups or ideologies that they may disagree with to push a narrative. And here you have Dan Rather yesterday. Dan Rather, who, who was basically fired from CBS News, who was uh, famous for saying, uh, yeah, my, my documents I'm using against George W. Bush are fake but accurate. Uh, he even went so far to blame President and Trump for this, uh, for saying that, you know, this is this is about poisoning minds. You have a congressman from Kentucky who is only the chairman of the House Budget Committee now who said, I am calling for a total and complete shutdown of teenagers wearing Make America Great hats again until we can figure out what's going on. They seem to be poisoning young minds. You have CNN who still has a tweet up saying video shows a crowd of teenagers wearing Make America Great Again hats taunting a Native American elder after Friday's Indigenous Peoples March. The tweet's still up. The, the, the point is that not only do they get it wrong, there's never any apologies. There's never any contrition or, or corrections. Let's see them here because these kids who were there to do, who were there for a good reason, are now being painted as racist as a result of wearing hats in a, in a video that if you just took 10 minutes to watch, you would see is completely the opposite of what the media is portraying. Because you guys. see the uh, American Indian uh, walking up, playing the drums right into the teenager's face, not the other way around. You know, and Joe, Joe, what about the danger here? Because this, this teenager, he's a junior in high school. How do you think he handled this situation? I mean, he was clearly, if this video, the, you can see the Native American walking up to him, taunting him. He's not throwing a fist. He's not yelling at him. He's not saying anything in return. Yet he was the one that was, that the media just blasted. And I'm sure it was a very tough weekend for him until he finally released his statement. And he said, I'm being called every name in the book, including racist. I will not stand for this mob-like character assassination of my family's name. He goes on to say, my parents are receiving death and professional threats because of the social media mob. The danger in not telling the full story or not knowing the story and jumping to conclusions, it, it's clear here. Yeah, and, and look, it, the American people are on to this, Ainsley. You know, it's not like when the media says something, people automatically believe it, like like the old days when you only had ABC, CBS, and NBC on your TVs as far as places to get news. So thankfully, there are fact checkers. Social media is a big pushback in, 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 in this regard in terms of getting the story right. But I, I keep going back to this one study that was done last year, and it was done by Axios and SurveyMonkey. And it said that 92% of Republicans, or Republican-leaning independents, say that traditional news outlets knowingly report false or misleading stories at least sometimes, uh, and, and, and this is uh, reflected by studies by Pew and Gallup. And you say, all right, just Republicans don't trust the media. That's always something that's happened for a long time. 79% of independents right. agree with that assessment as well, and a majority of Democrats. So, look, right. uh, the media gets it wrong, but people more and more don't trust the messenger. So hopefully this doesn't have an impact on this kid because apparently, as you said, receiving death right. threats. And he's only a junior in high school. This is so unfair. People say that it is provocative to wear the hat. He's president of the United States. Uh, 60 million people voted for him. If you wear a button or a hat showing it, it's provocative. And they do show, and there's video available, of the kids walking out into the square and being screamed at by uh, this group called uh, uh, Black Israelites who was screaming anti, uh, 
In fact, let's the listen to it. Black religious activists. Yeah, let's let's listen that to it. Great again. A bunch of child molesting. That's right. Future school shooters and child molesters and uh, incest. Uh, they're they're the result Among of other incest. Things. Yeah. Yeah, and, and I mentioned it before, the, the, the chairman of the House Budget Committee, a Democrat, is calling for banning these hats. Could you imagine a world, just to close your eyes for a moment, and picture President Trump saying, you know what, I'm calling for a ban on all hope and change and I'm with her t-shirts. And we always hear about authoritarians in the White House. Well, gee, I'm, I'm seeing that a very a high-ranking Democrat is calling for banning hats. Where are we? Is this the USA where we're telling people what they can and cannot wear? It's not like it's provocative or anything. It's a campaign slogan. And, right. and, and now I, I, he needs to apologize, guys. And whenever he does an interview, I hope that he's taken into account the same way a Republican would in that situation if they called for such an authoritarian measure. Well, right. Hours later, I think it was seven hours later, he did say that was a joke. Joke. His tweet was a joke. Oh, it was a joke. Yeah. The tweet's still up, Ainsley. If it's a joke, then delete the tweet. That's what I say. All right, Joe Concha, thanks so much. Thanks, Joe. And, and Joe is still Thanks, up. Guys.